I have a lot of respect for YouTubers out there who are doing it for the money and a lot of, not disrespect, a lack of respect for some of these guys out here doing it for the money. Um, and I'll get into that in a few minutes. I'm not dead yet. You know, I'm not sitting in my chair anymore. I'm not glued to a TV anymore. I'm not this, I'm not that. Now I did trade my TV for YouTube as a watcher, as a follower. And there were a bunch of channels I watched. Uh, some I still watch, some I don't watch anymore. One I don't watch anymore recently. Like I pulled away from this guy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to dime him out because this is a negative comment. But I pulled away from this guy because he was mocking his own viewers and then doing exactly what he was mocking his viewers about. And, you know, I just saw another video. Uh, he flashed before me again recently. And he's sitting there spending hours and hours online uh, talking shit about another person. And then he was talking shit about a third person, you know, two weeks later, and he's mocking this newer YouTuber who's trying very hard to, you know, make some money at it, and he steals the guy's content. So what I learned there was very interesting because it, it really showed me if you're that desperate to make money on YouTube, what a horrible position to be in. And just kind of reaffirm that I'm going to do my own thing. And, you know, I mean, my dream when I started thinking about YouTube was like, hey, maybe I can make enough to buy a new camera. Right. Uh, now I don't even care. Like I've been through, you know, a half dozen GoPros, this camera, that camera. And like, I don't even care. I have a cell phone. Um, so... You know, I don't even have that, like, wild dream in the back of my head. Uh, but there are YouTubers out there that I've followed and watched, and I'll tell you about those real quick right now. Um, Tim K was a pretty influential YouTuber for me, and he catches a lot of heat, and I'm not sure why. I mean, he does some stupid shit. But what I saw from him was he was living what he thought was, you know, his dream life. And he reassessed and really nailed, you know, knuckled down and went after what his real dream was. So, you know, and he talked about this back in the early days, he's taking a lot of these videos down, but he talked about like, you know, he wanted to get married and want this, want this, want that. And, and he's out running around the globe with a couple other guys drinking and partying and having a good time. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's like, I watched him over the course of a couple of years totally change his life and literally forge the future he was talking about back then. And I don't think many people picked up on that, but to me that was a real inspiration because, you know, in a couple of videos, you know, he subtly mentioned, you know, his struggle with weight and this and this and that and getting healthy and all these things. and. Over the course of years, I've watched him really just, you know, I hate to say this word because it's overused, but, but really manifest or forge his future into what he was saying he wanted in the beginning. Um, and he wasn't doing, wasn't living, wasn't doing the dailies that were required to live the life he was dreaming of. And now he seems to be living the life he was dreaming of. Um, and so I have a huge amount of respect and inspiration from that to see somebody else totally change their life was a real help. Uh, Paul old dog in the Philippines, his older stuff was really helpful to me because he had a lot of wisdom and knowledge, um, and just, you know, good advice. Um, some of his newer stuff. Yeah, you know, and part of it's because I've been watching him for years, but you know, his older videos had a lot of really sage advice, a lot of shit I really I knew and agreed with at the time, but hearing someone else say it really is comforting sometimes. 
And then the other YouTuber I watch, well, there's two more I watch that are like significant in my life. Um, PBD, uh, Patrick Bet David. He does these podcasts now where he does interviews and stuff. But I started watching his Valuetainment channel and he was talking all about business and, you know, different things you would do to be in business. And I started watching those not because I wanted to be an entrepreneur or, you know, pursue that, but because the advice he was giving about running a good business, being a good entrepreneur was easily transformable into advice that I needed to hear to transform my life. So I'd listen to him talk about a business and I'd go, okay, wait, what, what can I take of value away from that and apply it to my life? And boy, did that sure make a big difference in my life. Um, and you know, I still watch him religiously. Uh, it's a great inspiration for me and uh, crutch or tool or whatever you want to say. Um, because everything he's saying and doing about business, if you just apply it to your life, and obviously not everything transfers, right? But a lot of that knowledge, techniques, and everything transfers over. And I was so lost and disorganized in my life. And, you know, when I was sitting around just drinking all day, so getting that, um, that constant feed of positive messaging and reinforcing positive habits and positive practices um, was a real key. So the last one is probably <laughs> the most controversial. Uh, Overstay Road, Marcos, uh, King Marcos, Overstay Road. And it's funny, like, I think people are afraid to talk smack about him, but uh, he doesn't get a lot of hate online, but there's definitely a lot of uh, people who, you know, talk about him in person in a funny way. Um, but Marcos is, you know, he's been there and done it uh, for everything under the sun, I think. I don't know. But what I really got from Marcos was, one, just pick up a phone, start recording. If you want to do YouTube, just pick up a phone, start recording. But in that statement, he's also saying, just live your fucking life. Just do it. It doesn't matter if you're good, bad, or other. You know, he goes on this, there, there's a dozen videos where he talks about this, about people wanting to be a YouTuber. In fact, he just did one recently. Um, if I find it again, I'll put it in the comments or in the notes. But... You know, he, he's talking about, you know, just don't go buy a camera. Don't do this. Just pick up an iPhone and start recording and post it and see what happens. And that is such a good analogy for life because it doesn't matter how good you're doing at something. It just matters that you're doing. And to me, that was the whole, uh, who was that? Was it Roosevelt that said something about men in the arena? But that was the whole the whole gist I took from it is get off the fucking couch, get your feet wet, put your toes in the sand and enjoy life. And it doesn't matter what you look like doing. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. It doesn't matter how good you're doing it or how bad you're doing it. Are you having fun? Are you getting better? Or do you want to get better? Is that, you know, do you? And that's what I really took away from Marcos. The, the other funny thing is, is, you know, I'll watch a two hour video from him and there'll be five minutes buried somewhere in the middle of just stupendously, outrageously crazy good advice or insight or, you know, a nugget of knowledge that you're like, you, if you were to just clip that, you know, it would probably go viral, but it's buried in this long video. And so, uh, what I've learned with him is watch all of his videos all the way through because, you know, he'll start off talking about this or that, or, you know, just the, you're like, what are you doing today? Right. And then, you know, buried in there, there'll be a little nugget of knowledge and you're like, Oh, and the other thing is, is he does some great videos about, uh, travel. If you go back and watch his 
playlist does some amazing videos about travel um, medicine and getting sick on the road and things like that. Um, so those guys are all professionals. Those guys are people I watch, people I rely on um, for entertainment and uh, you know little tips and tricks and knowledge and insight. But they're professionals. Uh, they put a lot of time and effort into their videos and it shows and they've got the followers they've got everything i'm not going to ever be to that level of production um if you want to see my ideal life go back and watch my video on budapest i don't remember what i titled it even but i tried to capture my day average day at that point in time it was a year ago just before christmas last year and you know I bounced into Budapest for a few days and then I, I moved on. But every day in Budapest, you know, I'm up out the door running around. Oh, it's getting dark. I better go back to the hotel or the Airbnb, where I'm staying, get some food and go to bed. Um, and that's my every day. 